Hey guys, Joe from 1UP Reviews, and today we've got a sneaker review and an unboxing on the Converse Chuck Taylor All Star Ultra Mids. Before we get into the review, guys, if you're new to our channel, remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell so you never miss any of our latest reviews. Slap that thumbs up, we want to see those likes, it helps us with the algorithms. Drop some love in the comment section below. We try our best to reply to every single comment that's thrown out our way. And I just want to take this time and opportunity to thank our subscribers, new and old. Without you guys, we can't do this. So thank you. Let's get into it. So today we've got a look at a more sporty modern take on the classic Chuck Taylor All-Star. One of my favorite sneakers of all time, the Chuck Taylor All-Star. As much as they hurt my feet sometimes, I think I should have got this. We'll show you the reasons why they're a bit more comfortable as soon as we get the unboxing. So we are looking at the CTAS, which is Converse Chuck Taylor All-Star Ultra Mids. And we got this in the Storm Wind Bold Mandarin colorway in the UK size 7.5, it's European 41, and it's the men's 7.5. However, they don't put the US sizing on these labels. Um, but if you're wondering what US size to get, it usually is a size up to what the UK is. So using deduction, it's usually a UK size 7.5 is a US men size 8.5. Get out unboxing. And you're gonna to have to take my word, guys, this is so lightweight. And you can see it's just a more modern take on the traditional Converse Chuck Taylor All Star. Now we start with the outsole. So this outsole is an EVA outsole, very lightweight. EVA, it's just injected foam. And it looks like the traditional rubber outsole that you see from Converse sneakers. You've got the diamonds, traction patterning there, the Converse All-Star logo in the middle. And usually they do have the size of the, of the shoe, but unfortunately it's not here. The midsole unit, again, is still an EVA, same as the outsole, which makes it very lightweight. But in my experiences with sneakers, EVA of or foam midsole units are relatively comfortable. Now the upper is where it differs, so you can just tell by you can just tell by the sneaker silhouette that this is a constructed booty system. See it here, it really is just one sock liner essentially, and it's made out of mesh and synthetic levers. Uh, unfortunately, you don't see the traditional rubber toe cap here. It's got heated plastics, so you can see the TPU and the toe box. As I mentioned before, the upper is a blend of materials, so you can see where the laces are. That's synthetic leathers. And just underneath it, you can see the predominant materials it is this mesh. Helps it be breathable, helps it be lightweight, and Essentially, it's going to be easy to break in and hopefully be comfortable for your feet because anyone who has a pair of Chuck Taylors, I know it takes a while to get used to and it hurts for a while, but you need to break them in. With this, you don't really have to because essentially it is a neoprene sock liner here. You can see it's, uh, the internal is just a neoprene booty construction. So it's easy there to get locked down the fit. The laces, just your typical round laces. The tongue, so you can see it on the tongue. Again, as I mentioned before, this is a whole booty system, so it's not an external tongue. But you can see the Converse All-Star logo right there. And you can see two pull tabs, one at the heel, one at the tongue, just to help get your feet in. What more can I say? The heel clip. Yeah, so you do have a bit of plastic there to support your heel and like a lot of Converse All-Star Chuck Taylors you've got the All-Star logo right there at the bottom of the heel. The inner of this sneaker is an awful light insole. It's there for your comfort. You, loads of sneakers have awful light insoles but traditionally it is just a foam insole. And it comes in this grey colourway, very well complemented with this orange. I'm really intrigued to try these on because you've seen our reviews guys we've done we do tons of converse chuck taylor all stars i love them check out the playlist and see why i love them however i think this is going to be an easier wear easier to get my feet in 
I won't probably wear these as much as I wear Chuck Taylor All Stars, but that is because I broke them in. It's taken me years. Uh, but this will be a really interesting take. So roll that footage of me trying these Converse Ultra Mid on. When it comes to the fit guys, if you want a true lockdown fit, I recommend that you get your true to size fit. I'm a UK size 7.5 when it comes to Converse's. My toes are where they need to be. It feels a bit different, obviously because of the upper materials, but it still feels like a pair of uh, Chuck Taylors because of the silhouette. It's a bit softer though, because again, because of the materials, but it was a bit easier to put on because of the stretch booty. I could just slip my feet right in. Other than that, I think it'll look really cool on. It's a new take and I'm here for it. Thanks guys for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. Follow us at 1UP Reviews with a Z at the end. Until next time, peace.